Good morning, this is Luke Thomas, Hope Quest here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com, 9.19 in the morning on Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Let's take a look at the uh, forecast for California, Japan, Greece, and Alaska. We'll start with California here. <clears throat> and uh, you can see each one of these peaks and risk has produced a significant earthquake, 5.8 back on December 7th, 6.2 in Northwest California on this one here on the 20th. This one, we were lucky not to get this one, but the energy was transferred to the Western side of the Pacific plate. 4.8 on this peak on the 5th and 3.9 on the 12th on this spike and risk here. And this most current peak on the 18th did produce a 3.5 in California, right here, 3.5. However, uh, the risk level is at 4.1 and the, the risk is for the 18th, but uh, it could happen on the 17th, 18th or 19th. Today is the 19th. And I still think we'll get that 4.1 to 5.0 earthquake in California. <clears throat> most likely uh, 4.1, but it could be as high as a 5.0. And here is some of the areas that it might happen. This is the forecast map for the 18th and the 19th. And then the 19th and the 20th, the risk shifts down into, <clears throat> excuse me, down <clears throat> into uh, Coalinga Parkfield area, San Simeon, northwest of LA and southeast of uh, San Francisco Bay. The 20th and 21st from San Francisco Bay all the way to Northwest LA near Santa Barbara, Coalinga, that area. And then on the 21st and 22nd, <clears throat> the risk is here uh, Northwest of Los Angeles from Coalinga down to Santa Barbara, uh, Northwest of LA on the San Andreas maybe and the Garlock Fault right there. That's where the risk is centered. So we have uh, another risk peak on, I believe it's on the uh, 21st there. And, uh, and of course the peak we're dealing with right now is uh, the 17th, 18th and 19th and centered on the 18th. So we still have uh, a little more time of that peak here before the, uh, the next one here on the 21st, which would include the 20th, 21 and 22. And that one looks like about a 3.9. This one here should be about a 4.1 in California. And like I said, uh, the risk right now is in San Francisco Bay. And then later today and tomorrow in the Coalinga area, uh, San Simeon. And then from the 20th and 21st, the risk is from San Francisco Bay to Northwest of LA. And then Northwest of LA on the 21st and 22nd. <clears throat> All right. We did get that 3.5, but like I said, I think it's gonna be a bigger quake than that. In Greece, we have a spike in risk here on the 20th. And uh, anytime you have a spike in risk, uh, the quake could happen a little bit before that, which would be the 19th, 20th or 21st. And that one doesn't look like a huge peak, but could produce a 4.0 to 4.5. The risk is uh, right now in Southwestern Albania. And then the risk, it moves into northeastern Greece on the 20th, the 21st. And there's that spike in risk on the 20th. This huge peak right here, uh, we thought it would produce a 6.0, but it produces 6.6 .6, uh, in the Cyprus area. All right, in Alaska, the risk is uh, near Yucatan, northwest of Juneau east of Anchorage right here, near Yakutat, and that is uh, the 18th and 19th. And the 20th and 21st, the risk moves into uh, Kodiak Island area, southwest of Anchorage right here, and also uh, southeast of Juneau, Alaska. And then uh, you can see that peak back here on the 10th produced that 6.8 on the 11th, I believe. Uh, which was way in the southwest uh, part of Alaska. And uh, so right now the risk level is uh, not all that high, pretty low right now on the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st. In Japan, the risk is south and southeast of Tokyo 
And that's where this, uh, oh, I don't know what they did with that. There was a quake here. Oh, I know what it is. This one right here. This quake here uh, hit um, down in this area, uh, in that forecast area. That's where the risk is right now, the 20th and 21st. And then on the uh, 21st and 22nd, the risk level is, uh, or the uh, risk on the risk map here is in the uh, Tutori to Kyoto, Fukui, and Ishikama, this part here of Western uh, Japan. However, if you look at the risk graph here, right here, and uh, it's about 40%, 42% risk level. So it's not all that high. So if an earthquake does occur in this area, it should be between 3.5 and 4.5. Uh, of course, the risk extends over here to Tokyo as well, but not expecting a huge earthquake. Of course, anything can happen, but 3.5 to 4.5 is most likely on the 21st and 22nd in this area near Kyoto, Fukui, Ishikama, and Totori, right there. And we had a spike in risk on the 16th when the risk was up in Aomori, Morioka and Sapporo. And now the risk is shifted to southeast of Tokyo. And then on the 21st, 22nd, out in Western Japan. All right, let's look over at the uh, forecast in California once more. We have a spike in risk that uh, happened yesterday, which did produce a 3.5 in Southern California. And remember, this is for all of California. This graph, risk graph is for all of California, but we have to look at the forecast map to see where it's most likely. And it's most likely in the San Francisco Bay right now. So it's still expecting a 4.1 on this peak here, which is valid from the 17th, 18th, and 19th, which is today. So we should get a quake near San Francisco Bay today. And then the risk shifts down near Coalinga and still here in Western California on the 20th and 21st, and then Northwest of LA on the 21st and 22nd. All right, thank you so much for your support here at quakeprediction.com, the Earthquakes uh, Forecast Center. And um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already, that really helps us get the word out and over 17 years of research. And so our forecasts are getting better and better and better every day, uh, especially this risk graph is helping a lot to uh, pinpoint. It's based on thousands of data points. So it's uh, a lot of information is packed into that uh, graph that we have for each of the four different locations in the California, Japan, Alaska, and Greece. So we will talk to you soon. God bless, and we will talk to you uh, most likely tomorrow. Thank you.